Hey guys, this is Kerbal Essences and welcome to K-News featuring SpaceX Falcon 9. The launch was scheduled for Saturday but had to be shifted due to issues with a helium tank. It is not yet clear by how long but I'll keep you updated in the comments and on Twitter. Anyhow, Falcon 9 will deliver another communication satellite into geostationary orbit. This time it is the Turkmen Alem 52E or Monaco Sat. It is the first satellite from Turkmenistan, which lies in the Middle East between Europe and India. The satellite is derived from the Spacebus 4000 series and was built by the French company Thales Alenia, the guys behind ESA's IXV. A very abstract description of such a satellite is an amplifying mirror. It receives a signal from a ground station, amplifies and reflects it back. This is necessary due to our planet's spheric nature. Look here. The coverage of a signal like this, spread directly from the ground, would be very limited due to Earth's curvature. Aimed at the satellite however, it gets spread over a much larger area. The geostationary orbit keeps the satellite in a constant location in the sky, which allows for a static transmission. Like this, your favorite show can be streamed 24-7. As you can imagine, the time for the signal to travel back and forth takes much longer because even with the speed of light, the signal needs at least roughly 230 milliseconds to reach the satellite and return to the ground. This delay is simply too much for many applications, but SpaceX has ambitious plans to cover the whole planet with hundreds of satellites, which are much closer. Ok, now back to Turkmen Alem 52E. As the name suggests, the satellite will be placed at 52 degrees east or simply plus 52 degrees. From there it can cover the Middle East, Northern Africa and Europe. Due to the high orbit the booster won't attempt landing, but this might change in your future because SpaceX is working on an upgrade which allows the Falcon to carry more payload. Now that's it for this episode and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.